Jay, the people that stormed the place in celebration of your victory. What? No, that's Live. exactly what it was. No, don't, no, no, no. Jay, we all love right here. Don't, don't see, it. Don't see him. Don't right. see him. Yeah, everyone that. trying to get a Thank piece you of you. Get a piece of the man here. I appreciate it, man. Now, Jay, tell us about the fight, man. What happened in there? Um, it was a good fight. You know, um, Marco Parabon, a tough, a tough contender, tough title challenger, fought for a world title. A good fighter, man. Um, we just went out there, you know, try to you know, stick to our game plan, which is boxing. It was working good. He kind of caught me with a shot like near the side of the head. Kind of knocked my equilibrium off. I was okay, but you know, he came on with a lot of pressure. So I knew the smartest, the smartest thing to do was to sit there and take a knee. I don't know how the referees would act or you know what I'm saying, would do. You know, so I knew taking a knee would be the smartest thing to do just to get my composure together. How many times do you think you got hit while you were down? You know, that's... Uh, uh, maybe about three or four times, but that, that, I ain't gonna complain about it. I'm gonna get back up and win. Were you surprised that he didn't at least warn him after that? You know, it's, it's not my job, you know, but all I had to do is stay, stay focused to my game plan. I rate your overall performance. So, you know, some of the crowd wasn't happy with the score. Do you agree with it? And what do you think overall your performance? Well, I mean, I don't know. Let's see. He had one good round. You saw the fight. He had one good round. From round one to what, whatever round that was, that was it. We got another thing with a Rosado too. Rosado dropped me in the sixth round. I got back up and won. Then he had later rounds, better rounds at, at the end. But at the same time, like, you know what I mean? You'd get dropped and get back up and then lose the following round and then lose the following round after that and then after that. You know what I mean? But I, I don't, I, I can't, I don't worry about the crowd. That's not my job. My job is to fight. Not to judge, not to criticize what the judges say, not to criticize what the fans say. At the end of the day, everybody has their own opinion. All right, well, you, again, you mentioned Rosado fight, you've been dropped there, and you got dropped tonight. Uh, obviously, you dropped, took a knee. Took a knee. You don't want to get dropped, obviously, or take a knee, but you came back strong both times. Yeah. So does that, that show you a little something about what you got inside? Sometimes you never know until you're, uh, yeah, you're in the find I out. Mean, it's, it's, about, it's about being smart in there, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I knew I was fine. I was okay. I just needed to take that, get, get my composure. It was a shot that grazed the side of my head. It kind of, it kind of knocked me off a little bit, knocked my equilibrium off. And I knew, okay, this kid is coming. He's throwing a bunch of punches, trying to get me out of. There. Majority of them I slipped, but at the same time, I have to, I have to be smart. One more, one more question. Uh, Beacon next. What's next? I mean, you know, that's all up to, to Al Heyman and my team, Mayweather Promotion, Leonard Ellerby. Um, I'm ready for whoever, man. Right. What do you want see, to do? Let, let me see the belt real quick and then we'll. Uh, I appreciate all the fans supporting me.